Oh. All right. Ooh. Look. I got that wow. Who wants some hands right now? We got that. Turn it up loud. I know you're wondering how. I got that wow. Here I go, here I go, coming. I can't ever stop. I'm a tour de force running. Get me to the top. I don't need an invitation. I'm about to start a celebration. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How are you, ladies? Peachy. Doing great. Oh, peachy. Peachy. Hey. How about you guys? Good. Doing good. Rounding out the weekend. Yes, we are. Except the yes. week. It's Friday Eve. It's Thursday night for me. Thursday night for you. Sunday for Kitty and I, who get to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yep. All right. Well, we are three cocktails in. And I wish, not, we, not wish I was three cocktails in right now. Right. We wish we were three cocktails in. Exactly. And tonight's podcast, we have no idea how it's going to go. We don't know how our topic's going to go. We'll just have to see. Kind of like all of our topics, honestly. Yes. We're getting very good at the ad lib, the yes, yes and the improv. Yeah. Yeah. So after this uh, episode drops and you listen or you watch, please give us feedback. In fact, give us feedback or whatever you want to give us feedback on any past episode, this episode, what you'd like to hear. What you'd like to see us do. Cause you know, it's, it's sometimes a struggle for us to find something we think we can, you know, talk about for a half hour or which direction we want to go with it. Yeah. I, I feel like we can always talk. Yes. Or, yes. It's just whether it um, comes full circle or it has a direction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. This one, okay. This one, we're going to try, we're going to look at our past Google search. So the last few Google searches and see what comes up as a you know interesting recent topic and see what we can see what we can say about it i'm super fired up about this i'm Good. sure you guys are going to be too we'll I'm see ready. i'm ready go. you want to go first i would love to okay colonoscopy prep drink name <laughs> wow yeah. It's that time. I guess we know what you're doing this week. Yes. Aren't you? Yes. yes. Um, let's see. And then it's drink for colonoscopy over the counter. What is the easiest colonoscopy prep to tolerate? And it just went down a rabbit hole from there. Cool. cool. So All because. Didn't your, I, didn't your I, doctor I, just tell you what to get? Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get the printout. We oh, no, get I got the printout. I left it at home on the counter instead of putting it in my purse. So when I went to the store, I would know what I was getting. I see. Yeah. And so of course I know I need the Gatorade. I knew I needed, um, the Miralax, which I had some, um, got home, pulled it out of the cupboard and it has about a tablespoon in it. So I get to go back to the store. Um, but I could not remember what that disgusting little bottle of clear white, nasty salt water that's flavored was called. And I was hoping to get it like, um, do like a target pickup so I could just run in on the way home and pick it up. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's magnesium citrate saline. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Hate it. Yummy. So today so, is tomorrow is well, fasting all day. Yeah, I'm not okay. so good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That's an exciting topic. Hey, <laughs> we're going with what the search is. Mm -hmm. Do you have a ride home from your procedure? Well, I need to call, I, I need to ask some advice on this one. So the the procedure is about 40 minutes south of here. Um, I have to be there at 7.15. I called my lovely local daughter, um, the one I gave birth to. 
and have raised and have been her emotional support animal. And she told me no. no. So <laughs> go figure. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take an Uber down there. And of course they won't let you Uber home. Yeah. And, um, is it too early in the relationship with somebody somewhere between three and four months to have them pick you up while you're less than your stellar self? Or is it perfect timing so they can see what you're like when you're not your A plus person? I think do you want to do you want to scare him away? Do you, do you, do you want him to, you know? I think the latter. I think it's good. I think it's yeah. good. Yeah. Why not? I'm going to go with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, report back on that one. See how that goes. We had a first little kind of uh, butting of heads Friday night. You did. Mm hmm. Ooh. And Stacy, I thought of you. Or did you? So we went to a work function. We were meeting there, my work function. We were meeting there. Um, I've, I found us what parking ramp we were going to park in. I found where we were going to meet. I sent the information. I get there. I can't find the parking ramp. So I just park right on the street, right around the block. I'm out and I'm calling and he wasn't answering. And then all of a sudden I got a call from him. I'm like, okay, where are you at? You know, are you at the parking ramp? Where are you? He goes, no, I'm over at this place. I'm like, what, what, where? And he goes, well, the place you wanted us to meet, did you even look where it's at? It's a mile and a half away. We're not walking that far. And I'm like, oh, okay. I just used the map that was provided to me. I'm like, let's, let's go to this place. Daughter says this place is really close. No, let's just go over here. I'm like, okay, well, where is it? Well, you just walk towards the stadium. <laughs> really? <laughs> Now I've got the broken toe, which I told you guys about before. Oh, yeah. And now I'm, I'm like, well, where is it? Like, where, where am I walking? Well, it's between this and this. So I get there and I'm pissed. I'm mad. And I thought to myself, this is what I did to Stacy through quite a few days of France. We had a plan <laughs> and then it. I changed it. Like, oh, let's do something. Else. Okay. All right. Well, mm-hmm. It was fine, but he kind of looked at me like he, and then I, I said, okay, I, all right. I'm, I'm sorry. The place I suggested was, you know, a mile and a half away and he gets his phone out to show me. I'm like, I said, you were right. How much more right do you need to be? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm like, I already said you were right. I'm wrong. You are right. Oh boy. You need the to rehash we laughed and, and whatever. So, yeah. but that's kind of also one of those interesting things when you get into a relationship and yeah, you know, little annoyances bubble up. Yeah. It's going to happen yeah. eventually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So well, that's okay. all very interesting. Kitty, what do you do? The version there. Okay. So the most recent thing that I searched is Laura Geller. Ooh, do tell. Yeah. So I've been seeing ads. Uh, I, wa I watched an infomercial or maybe it was on Shopping Network. I'm not sure. So Laura Geller is, um, she has created a makeup line. It's probably been around for a long time. Long time. Okay. So, and it's for mature skin. So <clears throat> I just continue to struggle with find finding a, a foundation that I mm -hmm. like. And even when using a setting spray, um, feeling like I feel like my makeup goes away during the day. So, yeah. um, so I checked it out. I watched some of the videos on it. It looks good. So I made uh, made a recent purchase. So I'll report back once good. it arrives. Good. Yes. Good. We want yes. to hear. Here with us. Uh huh. We do. Right. That's a good Great. one. Stacy, what's yours? Hey, would you like to know what my last one was? Yes, I please. I state fair attendance. Oh. So, okay. well, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, um, my mother and my brother and I, the three of us, and just three of us, went to the Iowa State Fair. 
and the weather was very nice. The weather around here has been super nice. So it was a good day to go because it wasn't 100 degrees, which is usually what it is during state fair time. So, mm -hmm. and it was packed. I mean, there was a million people. Well, there wasn't really a million people because I know exactly how many. <laughs> there was 128,732. Set a record yesterday. So it was a lot of people. But it was still fun. We just kind of do what we do. Walk around. So what and, do you do? What, yeah, what what's do we the, do? What's the first thing you go do? Well, it depends on, to us, we're not going to, well, even though I say we're not going to, we do. You know, we're not going to go here and, you know, this is not exactly. going to be our route. Yeah. So depending on which gate you go in, we kind of saw what was there. You know, they have varied industries building, which is all the businesses that come to the fair and try to, you know, sell their stuff. Walk through there on the way to the, I don't know what you call that road, but main. Did you get some pencils? No. No. Did, did you? I take it you didn't win the hot tub or you would have told us that. No, no we didn't even take time to sign up for stuff. So we just walked through and looked. So yeah, not a lot. Walked down the main avenue, went into another place that's, you know, kind of similar selling stuff. Didn't, you know, none of us, we weren't there to buy stuff. So just more like, you know, I tell people we kind of go to the state fair for the food. Honestly, oh, yeah. we, we see a lot of stuff, you know, we saw the butter cow. I was state fair is famous for the butter cow. There was uh, the 50th anniversary for the sky ride thing. You know, it's like a ski. Um, oh gosh, what do you ski lift kind of like thing, but it goes across all the way over, you know, the whole state oh. fair 50th anniversary of that so there was another butter sculpture of one of those you know interesting eats so those are interesting i can't imagine a lot of fairs have those but literally like a giant cow life-size cow life-size other stuff made out of butter butter sculpture so minnesota state fair does butter sculptures of the princesses oh interesting how would you like to have your likeness yeah. sculpted out of butter? Yeah, last I year. Feel like my, I feel like my likeness would be melting right now. Right? As yeah. everything falls. Yeah, so there was a butter Caitlin Clark last summer. So, yeah, they do that kind of stuff too. So that's interesting. Um, of course, we have to walk through, you know, the cow barn and the sheep barn and the horse barn and the, you know. Grand Champion Barn. I did know somebody that got Grand Champion Lamb, I think. Um, oh, you know, different different things like that. And then we go eat. Usually we pick something and then we share it. And we go to somewhere else. We pick something and share it. So we did a lot of that. Um, we sat and watched an ATV races. That was interesting. We just happened on that. So that was kind of funny. And that well, was cool it, what you did on your vacation. Yes, kind of. But we didn't exactly race on vacation. We just rode through the forest, you know. But these were like little types of, you know, 10-year-olds, right, racing on little bitty ones to adults. You know, there was a lot of different classes. So that was interesting. That was kind of fun. So, What was your favorite that? food? Um, well, the new food at the state fair, there's, they usually have a bunch of new things, but one of the things that was new this year was the lobster, lobster roll and lobster, um, dog, lobster corn dog, right? So a corn dog made out of lobster. Well, I didn't find the corn, the corn dog lobster stand, but I did find the lobster roll. So I did have that because I love lobster. So that was good. So that was a new thing. And we shared just the regular old corn dog, which is always my favorite. So just weird things like that. Yeah. So anyway, that's what I, that's what my last Google was. All right. Back to Amy. Back to Amy. What do you got? Eight heads in a duffel bag. Eight. Wait. What? Wait. Eight heads? Eight eight heads in a duffel bag yes. or and a duffel bag in a duffel bag okay what is that 
it was a movie in 1997 and I, and I was thinking it was Harvey Keitel. Mm -hmm. And then I got to thinking, no, wait, Harvey, this is how my old brain works. I feel like my mom. So then I was thinking, no, no, no. Harvey Keitel was on the Carol Burnett show. No, no, that's Harvey no. Corman. No. See, yeah. see how this works? Those two people could <laughs> not be more different. I know. Polar I know. And oh then my. I'm like, no, no, no. I know it was Harvey Keitel. He was in that movie. Was it one head in a duffel bag? Was it a du duffel bag? What? What was that? So I Google movie, 90s movie, head in a duffel bag. That was my search. So what is the real answer? It's called Eight Heads in a Duffel Bag. And it wasn't Harvey Keitel. It was Joe Pesci. Oh, my <laughs> God. <Nice. laughs> this is, I have become my mother. My mom could never get actors or actresses' names right. So, like, the movie Terms of Endearment, she loved that Barbara Wanger. That was in there. <laughs> <laughs> it was Deborah Winger. <laughs> My Very close. Yep. Um, so I have a question. Yeah. Did you picture Harvey Keitel or did you picture Joe Pesci but thought that was Harvey Keitel? Which is the I was, wrong I thing. was actually picturing Harvey Keitel. Okay. I was right in my head with the mm -hmm. visual and the name. But, <laughs> but, for that split second, I did think, no, no, no. Harvey Keitel was the name of the guy on the Carol Burnett show. Which isn't right either. <laughs> no. no. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, That's a good one. Yep. The things so we was, Google. Yeah. Yep. That was one of mine. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Kitty, what do you got? Okay. So my next one then was how tall is Simone Biles? <laughs> And, and he's not very tall. 411. 4'11. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know. No wonder. No wonder she can flip all over. She's teeny. Someone's shorter than me. I know. You found someone. All right, Stacy. Oh, funny. Okay. My one previous to that was um how old is Mick Jagger? <laughs> he was in the audience. We were watching the Olympics and he was in the audience. And, you know, Barney and I were disagreeing. Oh, he's blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, I think he's in his 70s. Well, guess how old Mick Jagger is? 84. 81. Ooh. You know, and honestly, I'll be honest about Mick Jagger. I don't think he looks worse than he did 40 years ago. No. He you looks know what I mean? Same. Yeah. He looks the same. It doesn't look any worse. Anyway. Nope. So that was interesting. Okay. You guys, now now mine are boring. Uh, okay. New York well, Times mini crossword. Oh. I do this every single day. And I don't know why. I don't just leave it up as one of the tabs. Yeah. But. Yeah. I do the same thing with Wordle and like connections. So I didn't know you still played that. You don't post to me that you still play that. Yes, I do all four. I do Wordle, mm -hmm. I do Connections, mm -hmm. I do the Mini, and I do Strands. No, is it, is it, hang on. I don't know what that one is. Strands. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's Strands. Yeah, we yeah. should take a poll on who still does Wordle. I still do Wordle. I still do Connections. I thought that was the only two we were doing now. Yeah. Um, today was another one of those Wordles that makes me so angry. I got the first, third, and fifth letter on my very first try. Mm -hmm. It took me four tries to guess yeah. the word. It makes yeah. me so mad. Yeah. I'm very sporadic with it. It's yeah. what I do while I'm having my breakfast in the morning. Yeah. It jogs my mind, gets the synapses firing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like Wordle. I like connections. Sometimes that frustrates the heck out of me, and I just start picking because I just want to see the answer because yeah. I miss one, I mean, and it's like, oh. 
I think I enjoy connections more than I enjoy Wordle. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I do too. Yeah. It's a good one. Although yesterday's, yeah. I didn't finish yesterday's and I couldn't help but think to myself, if yesterday's was actually a, a test that we were given in any sort of school setting, I would have argued three out of the four categories. Mm -hmm. They yeah. had a word in those three one word in each one of those categories that I have never read or heard used in the manner that they were grouping. That they were using. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I called BS. Sometimes they stump me because they'll have, you know, like three nouns and a verb. Like the one word doesn't quite fit with the other three. So I think it's part of the other section. Yeah, they get tricky. If our listeners don't know what we're talking about, you need to try connections because it's it takes a little thinking and you know deduction and yeah. elimination. Take some skills. Yeah. 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 Let us know what you think. Yeah. Okay. Kitty, what do you got? All right. My next one was how old is Gwen Stefani? <laughs> oh <laughs> that's a good she one. She is a couple years. She's pretty close to our age. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Is she yeah. a year older than us or a year younger? Mm. Younger. Younger. She's 54. Mm. 54. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Why did you Google that? Did you see like all the, the commercials for The Voice? You know who's on The Voice this season? No, it uh, because we went to the concert when we were at... Oh. So I yep. think it was that is um, right. Bill and I were talking about it afterward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that was a good concert. Stacy and I went and saw. Yeah, we did in Vegas. We in Vegas. Where, what Two theater was ago. that in? What year? No, what theater? What, oh, what theater? Yeah, where did we go? I think it was. Um, Oh gosh, I can't. Planet Hollywood wasn't it? Planet well, Hollywood it, like to buy the Miracle Mile shops, I think. Yeah, I think it was that. so good. Her was costumes good. are super good. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we sat way up at the top, way up. Yeah, behind the weird yeah. family where the dad oh. danced more than his wife yes. did. <laughs> I remember that. That was so weird. It was like a family of four, you know, mom, dad, and two kids, and the kids. What do we call them? Teenagers. Yeah. Young teenagers. Yeah. 14. Yeah. They did like 12 and maybe 16. Yeah. They didn't move a muscle. And the dad was just going, he was dancing the whole time. And the mom was half in it. But the, it was the just. The thing that made it weird was they looked like they just rolled out of church. <laughs> yeah. Khaki pants and like a popped collar on this dude. Well, they dressed up a little, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I know. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. All right. I don't know. All yeah, right. That so was weird. This one. Um, um, one of my last ones was time zones. Um, I was Googling it when we were up at um, the um, Upper Peninsula because they're literally where we went was crossing time zones constantly, depending on where we were. They're right on the line. Yeah, I know. It was interesting. And there was even one um, it's a funny thing because, you know, even towns that they go to different time zones. So yeah. So one thing, a bar had two clocks <laughs> just so you knew your what time it was for you evidently to get home another thing we had um we were meeting a group of people and the one um person was like an hour early because she was thinking her time zone not the time zone you're going to you know which i just found so interesting because we don't ever think of that at all we're not close to a time zone and that has to be super confusing half the time i don't yeah. know when it's only an hour off, I would think it would be very confusing. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Hmm. Um, my Google my search was USA versus Brazil. Oh. The match preview for um, 
U.S. Women's National Team soccer, and they won the gold, and it was a great game. So I watched that. I watched the first half while driving to work. Put it on my little phone, turned my phone. That was a very good game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Are you guys yep. going to miss the Olympics? Yeah. Yes. I do. Yeah. I am. And I am. something that I really enjoyed watching was the rhythmic gymnastics. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. And I, so, is it, my, my perception is that, you know, the, the regular, whatever, the regular yeah. gymnastics, they're the, you know, that's the sport to be in. And I wonder if they, you know, what sort of interaction they have with the rhythmic, rhythmic gym, gymnasts, like, do they go and watch and whatever? How do they feel about each other's sport? But is watching, there a hierarchy? Yeah, is there a hierarchy? And watching... I actually enjoyed watching the rhythmic more than the regular mm -hmm. because they're so much more graceful and they're longer routines and they're throwing those bowling pin things and catching them and those ribbons all over the place. And mm -hmm. it's impressive. And these girls, these girls don't just do the splits, like the splits like this, they actually go like that. I mean, when they jump up and, you know, split their legs, it's like that. Yeah. 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 The flexibility is off the charts. So did you watch any of the synchronized swimming then? I did not catch any of that. It was, it Which that would was have been similar to the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's impressive to me too. I don't understand how the these little bitty tiny things can throw them, you know, yeah. throw each other up in the up in the air and do things. I don't understand the that would take a lot because they don't yeah. aren't touching the ground and they're just you know muscling people up in the air. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I've enjoyed watching track, um, yes. the women's relay teams, the hurdling, the yeah. men's. Yeah. I got sucked into high jump. I got sucked yep. into long jump. A yep. um, couple of intermediate distances. Yep. Yeah. God, I watched, just, them, I watched the marathon the today. The marathon was today. That was showed today. That was interesting. I watched the end of it. Which was so cool. where did they run through? Did you get to see all the sites where they were running? Yes, it was hard because they don't show a lot, but they went close to Versailles. Wow, way out of town. Versailles, it was way. Well, it was like, yeah. 26.2 miles. Yeah, it was a long ways. So I don't know where they started and where they ended, but um, yeah, it was cool, cool watching that. Yeah, it's been fun yeah. to just turn on uh -huh. and just watch what's ever on. Yeah. 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 I didn't get anything, you know, like DVR so I could go. So it was just whatever was on was on. So yeah. Should we start the whole conversation about breaking? Oh my God. Oh wow. my God. Horrendous. Yeah. The only, and I wish I would have, I wish I, my phone would like, I'm going to have to Google some more like actual women's that were maybe good because who is the one that it's just, it would be like you and I going to do it. It was so bad. So well, bad. First of all, I'm not wearing a track suit from 1984 no. that my mom wore. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I, I've I got can't remember. Who was it? Australia? Is that the yes. one that they're just, it was so bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bad. I wanted to see like people that you see in music videos. You know, yeah. I was hoping that if this is going to be an Olympic sport, let's get some, you know, mm -hmm. no, it looked like jazzercise. Yeah. See, and the, like I said, that's the only woman I saw. The men's was pretty good. I saw the men's final, the last two of the men's, and it was, again, breaking. I'm, I'm still, 
no, I can't do it. No, the majority of the people in the entire U.S. can't do it. I get it. I'm just not sure that's an Olympic. I don't know. For me, it's not an Olympic sport. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I liked that video that you sent that somebody, or maybe I sent it to you where the guy was offering up five alternative selection options. Yeah. I thought those were pretty good. Dodgeball. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Dodgeball would be cool. Um, Mini golf. He made a pretty good, Mm -hmm. yeah, a pretty good pitch for mini golf. Mm -hmm. Now, what I liked about that was you wouldn't know what the course was till you got there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a must. Agree. Yeah. What else yeah. did you come up with? What were the other ones? Um, I don't know. Geez, I just posted it today. You think I would remember? I loved it. That yeah. So go. There you go. Go check out my post on Facebook. Yes. Because there were Kitty, better was- ones than breaking. Yeah. yeah. What was your next search? Uh, what's in a Moscow mule? <laughs> oh, That's a good one. Yeah. Which so tell one? us. Yes. Vodka, <laughs> ginger, ginger beer, ginger yeah. beer. So we we were sitting at a bar. This is when we were in Vegas. We were sitting at the bar, and it was a it was a Wolfgang Puck restaurant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there was a whole big display that was all tequila. So we were just looking at all the bottles. So the bottles were so beautiful. And then, but below that, they had their glass display and they had just mountains of Moscow mule glasses. And so we're like, hmm, I guess they must have a special Moscow mule here. Seems weird because it seems to be a tequila restaurant. So that was what prompted my search. But yes, ginger beer, vodka, and fresh lime i'm i'm not a moscow mule fan i'm not either Mm-mm. it's the ginger beer yeah, yeah. ginger beer is kind of strange yeah. yeah 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 you like it or you don't i don't mind it actually oddly enough i i kind of like them well i like ginger ale but ginger beer ginger beer is kind of weird yeah it is i like ginger fresh ginger in my food yeah. 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 My one before that was, um, again, Olympics. It was volleyball 2024. I wanted to look and see, you know, people on the team and how they were doing and things like that. So that's not very exciting, but the volleyball was exciting. Um, my search was Cole Flick, Dassel, Minnesota. <laughs> Okay, why did you need to Google your my own brother? Work? My brother, yeah. Um, because we went to the Saints baseball game and we got to sit, you, you know, the Saints baseball game is in a really nice stadium and it's a much smaller stadium. It's the Twins, now it's the Twins AAA. Um, and <clears throat> my friend and I were talking about the baseball field and kind of how cool it was. And I said, Oh, you should, my brother's really into this and he's had some interviews and stuff. And so I went through this whole search to see all the um, cool designs Cole has done out in yes. at the field. They are cool. They also Cocado saints field. Oh yeah. So. Okay. Cool. That was a good one. Interesting, but good. One more? One more, Kit. Why does my laptop fan start running right when I power up my laptop? <laughs> you wouldn't think it'd be overheating that soon? Yeah. And I, nothing, it, there were a lot of people asking the same question. I'll just put it that no, way. So no, I, there's no answer? I didn't get an answer. Um, I took my laptop in to chip heads once because mm-hmm. mine was really loud. And the man says to me, he goes, Hey, when was the last time you cleaned this out? You blew it out with the air. Yeah. I'm like, uh, I've seen that too. I'm like, uh, what? I'm supposed to do that? <laughs> I'm supposed to do that. He goes, well, let's see if that helps. He turned it over and 
I'm like, oh, I did not know that. Yeah. I've got nobody in my family that has any sort of computer technical knowledge that I ever would have known that. Yeah. Yeah. Your keyboard, too, if you blow it out once in a while, might get yeah. a little better. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. an interesting one. Yeah. All right, Stace, okay. what are we well, ended it on? I was going to say, do you want me to go to really what it was because it's super boring, or do you want me to find a better, more exciting thing? It's up but, to you. Well, I'll see how it goes here. Um, the, black, the thing right before that was the address to where I work. I <laughs> oh. Google. I do know how to get there. I thought I did know the actual mailing address, but I had to look up the mailing address because I had it right. You know, when you go online to buy something and, you know, for our business credit card, you know, then it wants the address, oh. you know, instead of my address, you know what I mean? I was doing a donation and using my business card and then it got to the address and I could have sworn it was <laughs> what I typed in, but evidently not because I had to look it up and correct it. So, again, pretty silly stuff we Google. What would we do without Google? I don't know. We would call people all the time, just like we used to do. Yeah. Or we just I wouldn't just... care. Oh, yeah. So is that the thing? So is this better that we can Google anything at any time all day long? Or did we, you know, were we, were we less curious? Or we just didn't know, so it was whatever? I think it's better. I think it's better, too. Yeah. I do. But, you do bring up a, but you do bring up an interesting thought. And I'm, now I'm thinking back to, like, my mom and her friends in yeah. Rockwell City. Yeah, how'd they find stuff out? Did they just go, screw it, I don't need to know? If they have one of their friends who been told them answers that probably wasn't true. <laughs> that could be. There was the, they called her, you know, smarty pants or something behind, you know, because she knew everything, knew everything, you know, that kind of person. Or Jordan is that why? Is that Jordan why? You can... Super, super good at giving you an answer with a straight face. And nine out of 10 people would believe her. Yeah. Madeline and I would know she's full of crap. Full of crap. She totally made that up. But she's got just, yeah. she's, the, what is that one game where you have to try and sell your. Balderdash. Balderdash. Yeah. yeah. It's a good sell game. your definition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. One of my favorites, by the way, if you want a, a new game for your family. Yeah. Yeah. It is one. a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so goofy. The goofy well, things we Google. Yep. Yeah. Would you would you all think of me over the next 48 hours? Yep. Good luck. Yes. So if we record on Wednesday night, I'll be the really, you know, I'll, you probably won't be able to recognize me from how thin I will be. <laughs> as svelte you'll be. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope everything comes out okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dad well, jokes. Dad yeah. joke. <laughs> With that, we had better adjourn. Yeah. Right? So here yeah. we three cocktails out, right? All righty. All right. Woohoo. See you next week. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. Ooh. Look. I got that wow. Who wants some hands right now? We got that. Turn it up loud, I know you're wondering how, I got that wow. Here I go, here I go coming, I can't ever stop, I'm a tour de force running. Get me to the top, I don't need an invitation. I'm about to start a celebration, let me in. Brought a good time for some friends, turn it up loud, pass